What is good, everybody? Welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. Bam, Shit. Forget it. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 42 in the house trying to embarrass me on live television in front of everyone, in front of the My Damn Nation out there, freaking farting in bags and smelling it, dude. Let me get the figures back on the thing. Freaking looking like hero out here singing along and shit. Welcome to episode number 42 of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. We got some epic stuff for you today. Obviously, my Elite 75 has not come in yet. Hopefully, it comes in today as you guys are watching this. Maybe it'll arrive, but here today, we got WWE Action Figure Surgery episode 42. We got Elite 75 Jeff. We got Elite 75 Hurricane. <laughs> <gasps> Can't vomit this early. We got some epic swaps in the house. We also have some pickups that I want to go over and everything like that. We're not going to do too much here today on action figure surgery, but I think it's going to be epic. I'm going to show you how to fix the height issue on your hurricane figure. I'm also going to show you guys how to uh, fix up your Elite 75 Jeff and do some swip swaps like that. I think we got three or four fix ups to do here today. Very excited to see what the hell they look like when they're all said and done. I think they're going to look pretty flames, nasty farts. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into what we do. You know what? Uh, this is how we start WWE Action Figure Surgery. We will always start off with what we're going to be doing. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Before we start, guys, this is something I wanted to show you guys. I haven't showcased it yet, but this right here is the old screen. Like, uh, you guys can't see it, obviously, because this is where the stuff goes. But I watch everything I record on this little monitor to the left of the lens. It's like over here like this. Well, my old camera broke uh, like eight months ago. It broke, and uh, the screen fell off. And so I figured, dude, I could use this as a TV screen or something, and I could put it in the back stage area so it doesn't look like a damn green screen back there. I mean, it would if I, you know, put something on it, but I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. It could be used as a flat screen TV, like, for WWE figures, so that's pretty wicked. Like, throw that somewhere. I don't know. I just wanted to showcase that a little bit. Um, another thing is that uh, we do have these two basic Matt Riddles that I found at retail on a toy hunt, and uh, that's all I got. That's why I didn't film it for you guys, so, I mean, it would have been a waste of time, but I did find these. It was epic to find these. I do need to convert these. I think I'm going to use some other formula and try to make some other elite Matt Riddles and that will be on surgery once we get all the parts so I am going to sit these off to the side we'll cover those a later date I'll show you guys how to make your own custom elite Matt Riddle if we haven't done that before have we done that before I don't fucking remember anyways guys getting into what we're going to be doing here today on WWE action figure surgery episode number 42 pretty easy stuff nothing too too crazy up in the house we also have this basic Hardy I was trying to figure out what body to switch this onto but I didn't like any of the options I didn't want to like acetone at the moment I didn't want to, you know, paint at the moment. So I am going to uh, let you guys down in the comment section below. I kind of want to make this attire, but I kind of want to wait until we get a purple Hardy. I know that sleeve is purple right here. So would this head scan look good on a Survivor Series Elite? It probably would. I, I thought about doing that, but I did want to save one of those Survivor Series or save some of those for future customs. Maybe we could do it just for the sake of it, just to kind of see what it looks like or something. Now, now I'm debating if I want to go get one and go ahead and do it. <sighs> if it were doing it. Alright, so now we got two swaps or two Survivor Series Elites that we're going to be doing. So this is the first swap we're going to do, guys. We're going to pop this head sculpt over onto this figure and put this purple face paint over here. I think it'll look nice with the purple tying in. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this head sculpt. Uh, I'm trying to look over here to the Hardys and see if I can put that on a different Hardy figure. I mean, I can put it on any Hardy but one that would like be a fire fix-up. I'm not really seeing it at this juncture. Um, I've already put it on the pink figure, the Elite 71. I've already put it on uh, the entrance grates, I think, or something like that so uh we'll just come back to that we'll, we'll have the head sculpt for a custom or something that we'll do later on or maybe actually i have a i have a fantasy attire i want to do so I'll, I'll use that one for that so that'll be that'll be our first bit of surgery right there just a simple little football head swap right there the next figure swap that we're going to do guys is a little bit of uh everything right here his towel did fall out right there but we have my first elite 75 jeff hardy what we're going to do with this one is we are going to take this head swap or this head swap we're going to take this head sculpt switch it with the survivor series 
head sculpt. And we're going to take uh, these arms off of this figure. We're going to put the, the right arm over here um, on this figure with this head sculpt. So it'll be this head, this arm, this arm onto this body. And then we're going to take my white sleeves right here. And we're going to pop these sleeves onto here to give us that white and black look with the Survivor Series head sculpt. So I think that'll be a really cool idea that'll give us sort of a weird fix up right there. I think that'll work out really nicely. So we're going to sort of hybrid all three of these guys together. I think that'll come out really sick when it's all said and done. And then the final swap that we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to fix your Hurricanes, baby. Here is the Elite 75 Hurricane Chase variant in the flesh. Looking pretty good, I might say. I really enjoy this figure a lot. It's very fun to pose around. It is not on ball joints, if you guys were wondering. It feels like it is, but it is not. It is not on ball joints. You would have thought they'd use like, I don't know what legs they could have used, but uh, it's reminding me of something, but I, I cannot place it right at this juncture. Uh, but we're going to switch these lower legs, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You switch the lower legs with some black lower legs from Daniel Bryan or Miz or Finn Balor or somebody with black lower legs. Even AJ Styles has some of these. You switch it with that. You're going to take the kick pads from your Elite 43 Kofi Kingston over here. You're going to acetone the designs off, and you're going to put these white kick pads into these black lower legs, and then you're going to switch the lower legs with that. Then you're going to switch the feet of these kick pads from Hurricane onto the Kofi feet, and that will give you the longer kick pad look that is more accurate to the Hurricane. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to make this more accurate because they gave him the Johnny Gargano, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens treatment where he has the short kick pad mold for some reason. They should go up to here, but they don't, so we're going to fix it here today on Action Figure Surgery Episode 42, guys. So let's go ahead, shut the hell up, get into our first bit of surgery, and uh, I guess we'll do Hurricane last and uh, so we're going to get Kofi out of there. I'm going to use these lower legs for a future figure, but I did want to showcase what figure you need. We also have Jeff's hoodie in here for some reason, so there's all that, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the first bit of surgery. All right, guys, so our first bit of surgery is going to be to head swap these Hardys. We do have the trusty white hair dryer. We got to get these head sculpts in here, and I guess while we're at it, we may be able to heat up all four of these head sculpts. I don't know how stiff these are going to be. I feel like they're going to be super stiff, and actually, the more I look at it, I don't want to heat up that necklace right there. That's going to be freaking annoying. Oh god, I don't want to hurt that necklace. I love that necklace, man. I do not want to freaking damage that or hurt that in any way possible. I really want to take care of that. As well as the Survivor Series head sculpts, you don't want to damage those at all either. So we got to be really, really careful here not to F anything up and piss myself off because that's going to be that's going to be freaking, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be angry, Brad. I will be super duper angry. But let's go ahead and hit it, guys. We got the white hair dryer here. Starting off action figure surgery, episode number 42 too correctly. We're going to hit it and uh, get these head swaps going. All right, guys, we're going to roll with this and just see how the hell it goes. I'm very scared here. Again, you don't want to lose these head sculpts, man. All right, the first Survivor Series head is good. The second Survivor Series head is complete. There we go. Now, moving on to this one. Got to be very careful not to even touch the necklace. I don't even look at the necklace. Oh, God, I don't trust it. God, I don't trust that. Mm -mm. Nope, not going to do that right now. We're going to wait on that. We'll go ahead and do the purple, though, because uh, I really don't care if I break this neck peg. I really don't. Damn, it's again, it's because they make that, that peg hole so effing small. I keep forgetting about that. So once this head goes on here, Brad, uh yeah, not gonna wanna not gonna wanna pop that off. But here we go, go ahead and pop this. Like good God, Brad, they make that peg hole so small for no reason. Oh God, that hurt like hell. All right, we'll uh, we'll look at him at the end. We did get the first Jeff complete, so there's our first bit of surgery. We'll look at him at the end. Um, the next bit of surgery is going to be getting rid of this basic body, and uh, we do have our extra Survivor Series head sculpt, so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side for a future custom. And now we just gotta get this head onto this damn body right here, but uh, we're gonna have to heat that up again. And also, we're going to uh, heat up these arms. So we have to get, no, not this arm arm just the right arm and then both of these arms need to be heated up with the head and so we need to get this in position right here and just kind of get that flabbing going right there go ahead and put this here and then put the head sculpt in there and then we got to get the arms as well the white arms have to be in here so we'll put the white arms in here and we'll save these shoulders for something else like later on I'm sure I could switch those shoulders in and add a tattoo or something like that to a figure one day or something so honestly should probably flip this. 
because we got to get this arm heated up. Well, we got to get that arm heated up too, you stupid jackass. All right, F it. All right, guys, hopefully this is good enough here. We're going to pop the right arm off right here, and it's super loosey-goosey right there, so you love to see that to an extension. Uh, we're going to pop this arm off, too. Go ahead and pop this arm over here first, uh, just like that. So, yeah, pop that over there, and then go ahead and pop these arms off these shoulders right here. Put the shoulders over there. Pop that over there. And then will this arm pop off, too? Yes, and then go ahead and stick these white arms in here, and then pop the head sculpt off. Ooh, the necklace almost came off. Don't want the necklace to come off. I want that necklace on there. Sorry if you guys missed that right there. I do want to leave that on because we do want to pop this Survivor Series head on here. And that's going to make like a 2006-7 Jeff Hardy right there. And then we're going to pop this head over here just like so. And bam, so we got our Jeffs completed. All right, guys, now that our Jeffs are complete, all we have to do now is we need to get our Jeff in out of the way is what we need to do. That way it doesn't burn alive and burn in hell. Get out of the way. So now what we want to do, guys, is we do want to heat up the lower legs of the Hurricane. Go ahead and slide your knee pads up. You don't want to get those all stretched out and bullshit like that. You don't want to ruin them and everything like that. So we'll just slide that there. We'll go ahead and plop these in the middle there because you're also going to heat up uh, all this. We're going to heat up all this. We're going to see if we can get the Mega Swap. You guys know how we try to do. Luckily, we don't have to deal with the upper body. We're just going to put the uh, trusty white hair dryer right here on the lower body and we're we're going to heat that up, switch those lower legs, get those feet swapped, and the hurricane should be completely fixed, but uh, we will see once we get there. Alright guys, here we freaking go. Let's go ahead and do it. We are going to pop the feet off of these kick pads first. This is the right one, so I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Holy God in heaven, that's super duper fire hot, son. Oh my God, that's freaking hot nasty shit in bags, man. Shit in bags. That is hot as hell. Oh my God in heaven, that was on there a long time. Oh God, I'm fumbling it because my fingers are and just all right we got that on there so the kick pads are completely there uh now we're gonna just swap these out there swap these out here and the plan was to just go ahead and plop these on there now will that concur brad will that happen we're gonna have to find out this is the left one so right here and can we do it brad come on get the freaking can we can we do it can we freaking do it don't be a bitch oh come on brad don't be an asshole jesus all right hold up hold up hold up we're not through yet brad we're not through yet come on come on finish 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 damn you knee pad you know what get out of my face i can always put the knee pad back on right you can always put the knee pad back on once you've gotten this through here oh god that's on there yes the the, the that one's on there the right side is on there the left side is not on there and now the green knee pad giving me freaking fitsies Ugh. come on brad finish the damn race all right we got the right one on there we got the right one on there Yes. Now I just gotta push this damn peg through. Oh shit, almost got it. Oh, oh snap, get the get the knee pad off. No, the knee pad's now it's conjunction. Oh god, no, 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 no. Frick. Frackin' shitty McDams. Oh my god, it's going to hell real quick. Don't tear that frickin' Oh god, that would have pissed me off. If I tore that knee pad, dude, I would have tore my own face off. God dang, it's right there. I'm glad that these pegs actually fit through here and they weren't like a piece of trash because that would have pissed me off too. So we didn't have to switch out the pegs, so that worked out. I hope all this was on camera, damn it. Dude, it's like right there. It's right there. Mm, now I got you, ho. Now I slide the knee pad on, just like this. Black lower legs are on. Longer kick pads are on. And now the trifecta of the foot and the kick pad put together 
and I can't effing get it on, Brad, because the frickin' peg is all loosey-goosey. God in heaven. And voila, gotcha, ho bag. Now we're going to take a look at everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 42. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything we've done here today on episode 42 of WWE Action Figure Surgery. You guys can see here, let's just start off with the three Jeff Hardys. We might as well. So taking a clue here, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Uh, we have the Survivor Series Elite with the Jeff Basic with the purple, and I think it works. You know, you have the purple tying into the purple right there. It's not perfect by any means, but it is just another Jeff figure, you know, just to throw up in the collection. I had so many extra Jeffs. Uh, you know, you get those basics, you swap those heads onto the Elites, and you just kind of look at that. So I, I can appreciate that fix up just for the video at least. You know, uh, even if we switch it later on, I still like it for the video and it kind of ties together pretty nicely. Let me know what you think down below. You also have the white version right here with the white sleeve. So you have the white shirt, the white sleeve, a little paint detail on the shoulder there for the body paint. And then you have the Survivor Series head sculpt, which looks badass with the necklace, white belt, and of course his signature kick pads. And you have the towel in the bag. Very nice right there. And then our trifecta for our third Jeff Hardy figure. We do have the Survivor Series Elite, but we do have the black and bluish purple armband over here with the purple here tying in there, the blue tying in there. So, you know, it is, uh, it's kind of a different look of Jeff Hardy right there for this one. You know, I I'd love to know down in the comment section below, guys, which Jeff Hardy you like the best. Do you like A with the black, purple, and blue? Do you like B with the white in Survivor Series, you know, mainly white? Or do you like the purple face paint with the purple and green armbands? Uh, three completely different looking Jeff. So that's pretty cool that, you know, you, you switch up all the parts. You get these really creative looking Jeffs. And uh, again, not obviously they're not accurate. You know, they're not at all accurate really, but uh, they're cool fix-ups just to, uh, you know, throw up there on the shelf and give you a different look for different figures. So let me know down in the comment section below which one of those you like the best. And then finally, guys, we have our Elite 75 Chase Hurricane figure, and we did fix the kick pad issue. His kick pads were much longer than the ones that uh, we got here. So you guys can see that big difference right there and I'm very happy with that so I hope you guys did learn how to switch that out and fix that the height shouldn't be any issues either here he is up next to Rollins and I think he is a little bit taller than Rollins right there and I don't know if that's accurate and I don't know if that you know that height's accurate or whatever the hell the case is guys but that is pretty much going to do it for WWE action figure surgery episode number 42 guys thank you so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy and did learn how to fix your hurricane figure let me know what you think of the Jeffs let me know what you think of the hurricane issue? Did you fix it yourselves? Again, use those Elite Kofi kick pads, acetone them off, then you have the perfect height of the kick pads. It looks good. You know, its height's not too bad there and uh, I'm sure there's a different way to switch it too, but I don't know if that height's accurate. Again, I, I can't remember how tall uh, Shane Helms was, so uh, we'll just have to see about that, but I think they make Rollins a little bit too short anyways on his Elite, so it doesn't matter. Whatever, guys. That's going to do it for the, vid the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.